This is the story of one of the strangest British designs of World War II, known as the Panjandrum. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button for more crazy and interesting historical videos. In 1943, British engineers were tasked to come up with methods of breaking through the massive fortified defences the Germans had built along the French coast. This would require something to blow a hole big enough in the thick concrete for Allied tanks and infantry to move through. Lieutenant Neville Chute came up with a design which he called the Panjandrum. It consisted of two 10-foot wheels connected by a large barrel filled with over a tonne of explosives. On each wheel, cordite rockets would ignite, propelling the device forward up the beach to its target, where it would explode. The project was top secret, and the prototype shipped to a beach in Devon, England. Little did the developers know, the intended beach was popular with the locals, and from the first day of testing, thousands of people witnessed it. Initially, the Panjandrum performed well. It came off the landing craft easy enough, but as it got closer to the beach, its course deviated and flipped. Further attempts took place by adding more rockets, an extra wheel, and even a cable as a guide. None of these tests worked. The final test took place in January 1944, in front of top military and scientific officials. The Panjandrum started decent enough, but a number of rockets broke free and it had again veered off course, this time nearly killing a military cameraman. This was the final straw and the project was scrapped. Some have suggested it was another diversion technique used to trick the Germans into thinking the Allies might land at Calais. Despite this, the Allies would go on to successfully invade France six months later. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content.